what I've always loved about life and about nature is I've always intuitively believed, and it's been confirmed by our spiritual teachers throughout the ages, everything in life has a balance. Where there is a yin, there is a yang. Where there is a dark, there is a light. There are always two parts to a whole. There is a divine mother and there is a divine father aspect in our infinite intelligence, our creator. So on this blessed auspicious Father's Day, we are going to delve deeper into the metaphysical esoteric understanding of the masculine aspect of God within us and all around us. The divine father principle is the creative power of the mind that manifests in our thoughts, words, and actions. They are brought into form. So let's explore the profound and metaphysical significance of the father principle. So beyond the traditional celebration of earthly fathers, we will dwell, delve into the spiritual archetype of fatherhood, reflecting on the deeper meaning and how it relates to our understanding of the divine. I find that this is very, very important. Reverend Carlos, during these holidays, always mentions mother, Mother's Day and Father's Day. And he has said something profound that has remained with me for at least a decade. Not every one of us has had a wonderful father or mother. Many on the planet have experienced heartbreak in that relationship, in those relationships. He would always remind us that if you've had a father that could not step up and be the best father for you, then you had a younger brother, because we are all brothers and sisters in God, you had a younger brother who wasn't that mature. If you had a father that was a wonderful father and gave you all of the love and protection and care that we are all worthy of, you had a wonderful older brother. If you had a mother that was not present for you, and if you felt abandoned as a child, you had a mother who was an immature younger sister. If you have had a mother who was wonderful, if you won the lottery with your mother, you had an elder sister who was a wonderful mother. All of this to remind us, who is our true parent? God, source higher power, the quantum field, the all that is, the infinite intelligence, Vishnu, Brahma, the eternal one is our loving father and mother forever and ever. So as we embark on this journey, we will be delving into the into Father's Day and the role of the Divine Father Principle. Father's Day is not merely a calendar holiday. It is a sacred reminder of the interconnectedness between the earthly and the divine. In the grand tapestry of ex existence, fathers embody a powerful archetype, reflecting the universal principle of paternal love, guidance, and protection. In our journey through life, we encounter various roles and relationships. And one of the most influential is that of father. The father principle embodies strength, guidance, protection, and wisdom. It represents a powerful energy that flows through the cosmos, and through us, reflecting the divine order and design of the universe. So let's begin contemplating this cosmic dance of creation, where fathers become instruments of divine expression.
As we look deeper into the mysteries of life, we discover that the concept of fatherhood extends beyond biology. While biological fathers bring forth life, there are countless souls that embody fatherhood in diverse forms. Adoptive fathers, stepfathers, brothers, mentors, men, male friends, male family members, and role models all contribute to the enrichment of our lives and the expansion of our spirits. The father principle at its core embodies the eternal qualities of strength, wisdom, and compassion. So for each and every one of us, God is our healthy father principle and serves as a lighthouse guiding us through the storms of life, ensuring we navigate these turbulent waters with resilience and grace. In the sacred embrace of the divine father principle, we find a sanctuary where our dreams are nurtured and our fears are dispelled and our souls are fortified. God as father within can instill in us the seeds of hope and perseverance, encouraging us to strive for greatness, even in the face of adversity, guiding us to the values of integrity, honor, and responsibility, imparting inner wisdom that fuels our journey towards self-realization. Because all of this, my beloveds, all of these sacred holidays are to remind us of universal spiritual principles that exist within us that we can tune into in order to change our lives for the better. Within each of us, regardless of gender, regardless of race, regardless of, of where we live on the planet, there is a God, a divine father principle within us waiting for us to align with this inner power. So the divine father within guides us and directs us in our spiritual journey. God mind is the source of all wisdom, courage and strength and enables us to overcome all obstacles and achieve our goals. So just as a human father provides for and nurtures his children, the father principle represents the cosmic force that sustains and supports all creation. When we recognize this principle, we tap into a wellspring of divine wisdom and experience a profound connection with the universe. So how do we express this divine father principle? By aligning our minds with the mind of God. By aligning our minds with the mind of God. By affirming the truth of who we are and what we can do by choosing thoughts that are positive, constructive, and uplifting, by speaking words that are powerful, loving, and healing, and by taking actions that are inspired, creative, and productive, by living in harmony with the divine laws and with divine order. This is how we express the Father Principle, the Divine Father Principle, 
by thinking a new thought, by shattering the mind of the ego with a powerful, uplifting thought and word of faith. So in exploring the metaphorical language of the scriptures, we find many references to the divine father principle. The divine source of all existence is often portrayed as a loving and caring father, embodying the qualities we associate with healthy earthly fathers, but on an infinite scale. What was so beautiful about what Jesus, the greatest guru, came to teach us, to awaken us to, was that God is like a loving father that awaits us no matter what, like the beautiful father in the prodigal son who awaited his son who had gone into the wilderness and the Netherlands, who had the, gone into the place of addiction and sorrow and despair, God awaited his son with a feast, with beautiful robes, crowning this son. We are all sons and daughters of God with love, with harmony, with peace, with protection, and with security. That is the divine father aspect. And my beloved, if you have gone through an, an earthly experience where your physical earthly father was not present, you can tune into God as your divine father, as the divine healthy masculine that can heal that inner wounded child with an infinite love that is eternal, that is healing, that is restorative. So it says in James chapter one, verse 17, every good gift and every gift is from above, coming down from the father of lights. So God as the cosmic force of the universe is known as the father of lights, the father of divine light. This divine light will restore you, renew you, and heal you, and you will be filled with the precious love of the Divine Father. As we express this Father principle, we also honor and acknowledge the feminine aspect of God, which is the Mother principle. The Mother principle is the receptive power of the mind that nurtures our ideas, feelings, and desires into being. It is the divine love that comforts us and supports us on our spiritual journey. It is the source of beauty, peace that fills our hearts. So the verse that I read that reminds us about the divine father reminds us that every good thing in our lives originates from the divine father as the source of all being. And to honor in our lives, we must embrace and embody this quality, the qualities of strength, wisdom, and love in our actions and interactions. All good fathers protect and provide for their children. So we are urged to protect and care for all living beings, for the earth, and to cultivate a compassionate attitude towards all others. So as the father principle is universal, so is the mother principle. So we are all children of God, of the divine, and we have the potential to express both the father principle and the mother principle in our lives. So as we open our hearts to the heart of God, as we accept the grace of God that flows through us and within us, we, we can choose harmonious feelings, compassionate and forgiving emotions, and we can choose 
when we in when we are downloading and tuning in to the divine father principle we think positive powerful uplifting thoughts so god manifests within us as our positive powerful uplifting affirmative thoughts and the divine mother principle as loving feelings as harmonious feelings as compassionate and forgiving feelings towards others it is a dance my beloved divine father principle high-minded thoughts divine mother principle high-minded feelings harmonious feelings and then we are in balance in tune with our I am presence. So we can connect to the divine father principle and the divine mother principle through prayer, meditation, affirmation, visualization, and any other spiritual practice that resonates with us. We can also connect with them through nature, art, music, and any form of expression that inspires us. We can connect with the divine through ourselves and with each other and all creation. We realize that we are not alone. We are not separate from God or anything else. That we are one with God, our divine father, and with everything. So today, my beloveds, let's celebrate Father's Day by celebrating our oneness with God as Father, Mother, God. Let us celebrate our oneness with ourselves and each other as sons and daughters of God. Let's celebrate our oneness with each other as brothers and sisters in God. And as we do, we experience the fullness of God's presence, power, and peace in our lives. Happy Father's Day, my beloveds. Let's celebrate the Divine Father within us and throughout the cosmos each and every day. And so it is. Amen.